Uh, what's up? Peace, love, justice. Welcome back. It is I, Jose Alfredo Ra, and this is going to be a collective reading for the energy of Virgo. So, Virgos, no matter sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever placement, make your way to the front, darling. This is all for you. So, today is March 8th, right? 8 is a number of power. It's a divine number. It's the symbolic number, right? Of eternity, of things, right? Moving in polarities, right? And coming back to a beginning point. So, like endings and beginnings, right? Like a cycle of life. Orange color here. Again, all week I've been mentioning this in Scorpio's video and Libra's video about the color orange and its association with like renewal, regeneration, the sacral chakra, which is creation energy. So once again, Virgo, thank you for coming back to this video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for liking the videos that I make, right? Sharing the content and also following me and supporting me on TikTok. So let's get into your message. All right, so we're gonna start off with spirit animal oracle messages. What do we have here for Virgo? <laughs> Already Virgo. All right, what do we have for Virgo? Placement. There we go. So you're gonna have to start thinking on your feet. Fox Spirit is a two and a seven, which means you're gonna have to start reacting quicker, right? This means that like Fox Spirit means that like to think on your feet says you're gonna be going through some new experiences, right? Or you're gonna be going on this journey and you're not gonna be able to know like the exact outcome, you know, at every single point of the journey, right? Um, so you just have to be able to like deal with the situation that comes and you know, try to find a quick resolution, right? Two and a seven. Again, this could be having to deal with um, either information or some type of communication that deals with people outside of you, right? Remember, two is also a number of like the reflection. Um, so it's about like, right, the interactions we have with other people. So if people are acting a certain way, it's just a reflection of something that has to do with us, right? In a sense. And then we have dear spirit, bring a gentle touch, one and an eight. So it's funny, you have one and the eight, two and the seven, right? So one and the eight makes a nine, two and a seven make a nine. You have two nines here. Bring a gentle touch, right, to your life, to your experiences. But with two nines says that the spirit of perseverance is with you, Virgo, and you're coming very close to the ending of a chapter or a phase in your life. And that's why you're going to have to think on your feet because you're coming to a new road, a new beginning. <laughs> One more for Virgo, please. You're getting woodland woodland animals as well, like a fox and a deer. So um, it's fitting because you're a Virgo, you're an earth sign. So you may need to be grounded a little bit and spend some time in nature, right? Outside, outdoors, by trees. And then cat spirit, 13, which is a four. Again, the number of completion. We have a one and a three. Cat spirit, right? So this says, claim your independence. There you go, Virgo. This new season, right? With this new completion of this cycle of this chapter in your life, now you're going to have to claim that independence. One more for Virgo, because everyone else got four cards, right? One more for Virgo. Do you have to say anything else for Virgo? There we go. Embrace the in-between. 26, which adds up to an eight. So again, embrace the in-between, Virgo. What this tells you is that right now you're in a place kind of like limbo in a sense, okay? My stomach just growled, so either you can be hungry, right? Or you need to start trusting your gut feeling. Embrace the in-between. Um, your gut, right, is in between your mind and your root chakra, right? Well, it's near the solar plexus. So there's something with your self-confidence that you need to work on because the solar plexus is here, right? At the root, right? And at the crown. So. In the in-between, this says, right now you're like in that middle part that's kind of gray, slightly foggy part of your life right now, or since we have two nines, which is the ending of a cycle. Um, so you're gonna be coming out 
into this new part of your life, right? And again, we are right now ending winter solstice very quickly. Soon spring equinox is going to start. So this is where you're going to soon realize that. Just kind of go with the flow of the energy right now. Because soon, right? Um, things are going to be changing for you. All right. So let's see what we have with the tarot. For think on your feet, Fox Spirit, 27. Fox Spirit, think on your feet for Virgo. What do we have? The Fox Spirit, think on your feet for Virgo. You see that, right? Right there, the Wheel of Fortune. Anansi, the trickster um, spider god from the Ashanti tribe, right? So the Wheel of Fortune is here saying, think on your feet, right? Because the wheel is spinning, which means there's chapters there's like cycles, right? That you're coming to a complete, I'm telling you, you're coming to the ending of a cycle or a chapter in your life. That's why you have the Wheel of Fortune and you have two nines there already. So, and the Wheel of Fortune is a 10, which is the ending, right? Now the wheel turns, right? Either 180 or it turns a whole 360. So for some of you, it's gonna be different. Bring a gentle touch, dear spirit number 18. Why does Virgo have to bring a, a gentle touch? Dear spirit, number 18, for Virgo, bring a gentle touch. Ooh. Just take a look at this, okay? You have the seven of cups in the moon, so this means that bring a gentle touch. You need to be gentle with yourself because right now, you may be in some type of emotional state where like you're not really sure about things right now because you're feeling like a, a whole bunch of opportunities or different possibilities are opening up for you and it could be overwhelming because you're like whoa what am i supposed to choose well, you know what is going to be the road or the path that i'm going to need to take and this is going to be one with the moon card right so some of you could have a moon in virgo right or cancerian energy you could be a mother quite possibly right with the moon card but this definitely says that like not everything you see um, is very clear, right, to you at this current moment because the moon uh, provides a little bit of secrecy, right? But it also clouds your 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 mind, right? Because it's all connected to the emotions. So there's some type of trip or journey that you are going to be going through emotionally and you need to see your way out of it. That's why we have embraced the in-between and the Seven of Cups because now you're feeling like, wow, which way do I go, right? I'm not really sure how to how to process this for a second okay for cat spirit claim your independence they really want to talk to you the tower and the king of cups claim your independence okay so the tower card is scorpio the king of cups is uh cancer scorpio pisces so with claiming your independence you have someone that's coming in right someone that could be um a little someone mature someone who knows how to com communicate and express what they're feeling um, in a very healthy way with the king of cups right this is someone who can be nurturing who can have like that father like energy but not necessarily be a father right just be someone who's caring and supportive and with this with the tower card there's something that changed in your foundation that actually brought this person about Right, so it's gonna sound different for some of you. Ace of coins, something new is coming your way. Embrace it in between, flamingo spirit. Why do we have this for Virgo? No matter what placement, why do we have this for Virgo? Flamingo spirit, embrace the in between. Yeah, you know why you need to embrace the in between? Eight of coins says keep working on yourself. But you need to embrace the in between because soon with this ace of wands, you're gonna be literally right painting right what your new life is going to look like this is you being given that opportunity ace of wands this is something new that you're going to be able to manifest for yourself now it's having this clear sight clear vision of understanding okay these are the ideas i have for what i want to do with my independence and what i'm going to do um when i come out of the state of being in between this Right, change of cycle within my life. Because now new opportunities are going to be around you. So now it's almost gonna be like 
well, I can do this if I want, or I can do that, right? So now it's up to you to decide what truly is going to be reflective of something that is more meaningful to you. Be mindful, you will probably most likely have somebody very supportive coming through. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy, right? Water sign. Okay. Yep, I just wanted one more. The world card. Wow. So with this Ace of Wands, this is again, look at the world card. This is a sense of something coming to a completion, but in a good way with the world card. Right? This is now you stepping into a whole new arena of your life. And this dance that they're doing, right? It's like the dance that that is the dance of creation, right? So definitely prepare yourself for something new, something that seems um, divinely inspired, right? By the passion that you have to now Right? Again, be independent and ready to like make that choice or decision to really go and do whatever it is that you feel free to do now. All right, we're going to clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Right? Why do we have the Wheel of Fortune here for Virgo, no matter what placement? Page of Swords. So with that Wheel of Fortune, this is someone either watching you or this is going to be you gaining a new perspective, right? On life. This is you now finally being ready to open yourself up to learning something new and actually being able to apply it to your life with the Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Cups and the Moon card, right? We need to clarify the Seven of Cups and the Moon card for Virgo. Okay. We're going to clarify that Seven of Cups and the Moon card, okay? No matter what placement, it's for Virgo. We have the Six of Cups. And the tower again. So yeah, something from the past that you feel like someone, right, may want to come in with an apology that is going to like, or some type of communication that came in that really changed the foundation, but it changed it in a way that it opened up now new opportunities for you, right? Or it opened up a new way for you to be like, okay, there's so many things that I want to do. And it's all right in front of me. How do I make the choice to do this? And with the moon card, you must trust that maternal instinct within yourself, okay? Um, to be able to do this. And you need to make sure that you are... Um, my stomach is just like... Again, solar plexus. You need to make sure that you are understanding that with your independence uh virgo there has to come a self uh there has to come a, a sense of self-awareness and self-acceptance right the tower and the king of cups yep an ending with the king of cups right the tower and the king of cups says you definitely are putting an ending to all the things that you carried with you um mental baggage right one more for this ten of swords for Virgo. Let's get this ten of swords clarified. Yep, page of swords. You you're moving away and putting an ending because we're going from a ten to the five. You're putting you're making a change to no longer engage in 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 situations that are like either leaving you feeling like you don't have the upper hand or feeling like you have to put your guard up until you basically win the battle. So you're putting an ending to all of that. You're putting an ending to, you're definitely making that change. An Ace of Wands in the World card, the Magician. This is something, oh, this is something that you are manifesting, okay? 14.06 on the clock, you're manifesting this. This is Mars and Mercury energy, which means that you, like, you now are, with this Page of Swords and the Magician, you have, you're coming out of that fog and you will have that sense of clarity of, understanding what choices, what actions you need to make, right? What movements you need to take to start manifesting with this Ace of Wands in the World card, the new place that you want to be in. And that new place is a place within yourself as well as everything outside of you, okay? We're going to finish this up in just a second with one more card. Eight of Pentacles. 
again, that was the second time the Eight of Pentacles continue to realize that the most important thing for you to do is to continue to work and perfect, right, who you are as a sovereign being, right? Let go of this idea of lacking from the past of feeling like you don't have enough or you are not enough because there's definitely somebody coming in towards Virgo Capricorn energy, King of Pentacles, and King of Cups here. I'm getting it's like the same type of, and uh, the same type of, might be the same person who not only embodies, not only embodies a sense of emotional maturity, but also who is um, very stable in their outside world and knows how to take care of their, um, their, their finances. Someone who actually knows how to, um, who's well established already, okay? All right, Virgo. So this was your collective reading, right? If it resonates with you, feel free to leave a positive comment, right? Feel free to share. If you have any other um, people you know who have, um, right, Virgo placements and things like that. So this was your March 2022, right? Tarot energy update with none other than I, right? Your favorite, Jose Alfredo Ra. So love you, Virgo. You are my moon sign. I will see you all next month. Bye.